Hi everyone, my name is Lauren. I'm an ICU nurse and I enjoy helping people memorize physiology and pharmacology and giving them mnemonics so they can recall that information on an exam or in practice. So based on your feedback and comments, uh, it sounds like a lot of you would appreciate some videos on heart physiology and anatomy and ways to remember this. So this video is going to be about normal heart anatomy and normal heart uh, blood flow. So here's your heart. When I draw the heart, I like to draw it like a heart, and then I quadrant it here. So you've got your right atria, right ventricle, left atria, and left ventricle, right? So we're looking at a person like they're laying in the bed here. So this is their right, that's their left, and there's their heart. So you have several different valves in your heart, and I like to draw them here as little lines. So you've got your AV valves from your atria to your ventricle. And the one on the right is your tricuspid, and the one on the left is your mitral valve. So which one's which? This is a hard thing to remember. Which one's tricuspid, which one's mitral? So, I like to think try to get it right. Meaning your tricuspid valve is on the right side of your heart. Whereas mitral is on the left side of your heart. So this is your AV valves, and then you've got the valves that go from your ventricles out. So on the right side of your heart, you have blood flowing from your right ventricle out to your lungs. So think about where this is going. This valve here goes from your right ventricle out to your lungs, so it's your pulmonic valve. because it goes to your pulmonaries, your lungs. Over on the left side of your heart, we have a valve going from your left ventricle out to your aorta, and then out to the rest of your body. So that's gonna be your aortic valve, which makes sense because that's where it goes. So in order to remember if your pulmonic is on the right or the left, and the aortic is on the other. Um, you just have to remember normal blood flow through the heart. And I'll give you some tricks for that. So let's draw normal blood flow. I'm going to blue for deoxygenated blood um, coming from your body. It's going to come in through your superior and your inferior vena cava. So this is our superior vena cava, and here's our inferior vena cava. All right, so blood is going to come in through our superior and inferior vena cava into your right atria. And there's no valve here, it's just an opening. So into your right atria, it's going to go through your right AV valve, which we know is your tricuspid valve, because try to get it right, tricuspid's on the right into your right ventricle. From your right ventricle, it's going to go through your pulmonic valve to your pulmonaries, your lungs here, where it becomes oxygenated. So your oxygenated blood here comes from your lungs back into the left side of your heart. And again, there's no valve here, it's just an opening. It goes through your AV valve on the left side of your heart, which is your mitral valve and then it gets ejected from your left ventricle out your aortic valve to your aorta out to your body. So it's easy if you think about it to remember that blood needs to go from the right side of your heart to your lungs before it goes to the left side of your heart and out to your body. Um, because the whole point of blood circulating is to get it oxygenated and then ejected out of your heart. So I guess, how do you remember that blood enters your vena cava on your right side of your heart and then is ejected to your aorta out of the left side of your heart? I like to think of it as 
R-I-G-H-T versus L-E-F-T. So right has an I in it because that's how it enters or goes into your heart. And left has an E in it and that's how it exits your heart. So blood enters the right side of your heart. It goes into the right side of your heart and it exits out of the left side of your heart. And we know it goes to the lungs in between. So there's the basics of heart anatomy. Um, tricks can help, but what really helped me learn this was just to write it out, draw it out over and over again. Um, draw out blood flow from your vena cava to your right atrium to your right ventricle, lungs, left atrium, left ventricle, and label it every single time. Um, and you'll have it memorized in no time. Thanks for watching. Comment below if you have any questions, if you found this helpful, or um, let me know what else you want help memorizing. And thank you to allnurses.com for your help getting my videos out.